All right, guys. This is uh, Connery from Out of Work Outdoors, and today I'm going to be doing a review on a lord that I actually uh, discovered from another angler, and his name will not be disclosed, but let's just say he's a close friend slash cousin. Okay. So, what really drew me to this lore was nothing except for the story that he told me. He told me that in three hours using this exact same color right here he was able to bring in a hundred and twenty six sandbass I said that was bullshit until he showed me the pictures yeah So, anyways, today's uh, review is going to be on the Concordel Gay Blade. That's what it's called. It's called the Gay Blade. Don't ask me why, but uh, that's what it's called. These are the 2 inch, and they do offer it in the 1.5 inch as well. And <clears throat> right off the bat, I'm just going to tell you uh, if I see these in stores, I'm not interested. Because honestly, I'm not a lipless crankbait person. And for sand bass jigging or sand bass catching um, jigs have always worked good and so has top water so if your system's not broke don't fix it well you know sometimes you go out and there's like a lot of people out and they're all throwing jigs and then the fish has stopped stopped hitting well at that point you need to throw something different and this is where that really comes in you need to throw a crankbait some type of cranking bait because jigs have slowed down maybe the fish have figured out that they don't want to buy jigs no more and I have a whole uh, story on that by itself but um, or if you're fishing fast if you're fishing open water no current type situations and you don't know where the fish are at and all of your sand bass fishing knowledge has now been depleted right and you're on the search for sand bass and you're fishing the banks and you need some you need something that can go down deep fast, lots of vibrations, say murky water, lots of vibrations, and you need it to search. It's a great search bait for uh, sand bass, is what I'm going to try and say. So that's what I'm going to really base this review off of. Um, I've pretty much used this lure as a search bait for sand bass. And once I get them, I do uh, get a couple right off the same spot. And the cool thing about this is while you're searching for those baits, no, not baits. You start searching for those fish, you'll, you'll end up catching everything else too. Uh, and I mean everything as in everything. Um, the fishing, the waters that I fish, are, they're really, really murky. So I do tend to go with the uh, chartreuse green here. And it has uh, done very well for me. And if I'm fishing a lake that's semi-clear, I'll go back to this color. <clears throat> but most of my action has been on chartreuse. And it's gotten to the point where I've actually stacked up on a couple of these because of that fact. Uh, searching for sand bass, I've caught catfish, gar, uh, shithead, or drums, uh, carp. We've caught carp. We've caught a couple of walleye. We've caught largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, Kentucky bass. All types of catfish again, and uh, yeah, every kind of fish that exists in Oklahoma, we've caught pretty much at least every predatorial fish. And we did even snag a gar on this, too. I mean, a spoonbill, big spoonbill. We actually did snag one on there, too. And so, yeah, it's a multi species lore, okay? Um, we're not gonna say it's not because I've actually caught it lots of fish on this. Um, price on these. They're fairly, they're fairly affordable. I think they will go for $3.95 in most places. $3.95, even on eBay, 3 dollars And what it is, it's a really strange looking lure. That's the reason why I never drew my attention to it. This one's really, really beat up because I've used this one a lot. And the design is actually very basic, very simple. It's basically, it falls into the vibrating blade class of things because that's all it is it's just basically a blade really really thin very thin profile no rattles nothing like that everything is vibrations when it comes to this lure 
It comes with a D-Link right on top, and it comes with your choice of whether you want to crank shallow or vertical jig, basically. Two uh, slots right there. Uh, comes with a unique hook design, basically a frog hook design. And as you can tell, it's already bent on one side because these hooks suck. You might want to change it out. And that's the case with the one in the back. Uh, the one in the back comes with a really, really strange treble hook, kind of shaped like this where they don't use any O-rings at all where the hook just basically goes through the eye of the body and then just hangs there. So just picture, see I don't have a good example of it right here, but basically picture this with another hook hanging on this top one and that's your treble hook on the back. I found out through trial and error that the hook in the back gives out too easily. So uh, that's one of the negative things about these lures is uh, once you, if you get these, you could keep the front because you don't want to upgrade to a treble because it'll just snag up too easily because you actually want to fish this right off the bottom where it's hitting the bottom a lot. So keep this hook, it's actually well designed where it's like this, if you hit rocks, it'll tend to not snag up on you. But the back, definitely change it out. I have it on the KVD Ultra Point and for Mustad, so that even that's a little weak at times because I do fish it on bigger line uh, on a bait caster most of the times. And, um, a lot of the fish I catch on this, um, they'll still they'll still rip the hooks apart, okay. And that's in terms of like durability. See, this one's a little rusty uh, because the paint has basically really really chipped off. From what it looks like, it's definitely lead inside, but it's lead that's been molded onto uh, what looks like copper. Because it's very flexible. I'm pretty sure it's copper. You can bend it. And bend it back. Okay. So it looks like it's a copper body with a lead head. That's essentially what it is. And the eyes, not too impressive, but okay. On that one, and even on this one, they're just okay eyes. I mean, there's nothing impressive about it. So that's why I say that if I saw this in the store, I wouldn't, I wouldn't try it. I wouldn't even pick it up. And it, basically, I've seen it many, many times before. Never crossed my mind until my cousin told me about it. And I fished it all summer. Got lots of footage on it. Now I'll be sliding in and out. And these are the mods that you would want to do if you if you buy one of these. And in terms of casting, it casts pretty far. It casts just like if you just had a sinker on there and just cast it out. And it vibrates a lot. And the way you fish this is either in current and just hold the rod tip up and let it do its thing. And that's the other thing, though. You make sure you can feel this thing vibrate. Uh, if you can't feel it vibrate, more than likely it's not going to hit on anything. Because that's one thing I um, I had to do. Um, when I was fishing off of a boat, fishing, uh, casting towards uh, points and things like that, uh, you really want to burn this bait. If you slow roll this guy, it doesn't always work. It's best if you burn the bait really, really fast coming back in. The faster you burn it, seems like the faster... The fish will bite it for some reason. So, rod tip right at the surface of the water. Just burn it back. Cast it out. Burn it back. Cast it out. Burn it back. And that's how you fish this guy. That's, at least that's what I've been doing. And I fish it a lot in really shallow water. I'm talking uh, three feet or less. That's where I've gotten a lot of my success on these guys. Three feet or less. Big shallow flats. These guys are pretty awesome. Uh, they do offer them in a slightly smaller size. I believe they come in the one and a half as well. And they come in four different colors. I have the two, my favorite colors right on the table here. But they do come in like a, a chrome, instead of a chrome blue, it's a chrome black back. And a white, all white with a red, look like I think it's a red chin or red head. And that's about it. Four basic colors. It's, I hear it's been around forever. And... Just recently we found out about these and they've been doing us very, very good when it comes to sand bass. Now, I know a lot of the states uh, where a lot of people fish, if this is something you've never seen before, sand bass, definitely try it. Hey, if you watched this far already, I'm pretty sure you like what you've just seen, so please be sure to subscribe and check out our other videos. If you have any pictures you'd like to share with us, please post them up on our Facebook page or tag us on Instagram.